What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of 5 Cool Mods for Skyrim Special Edition. This is a series where I show you guys some just interesting mods to come out for Skyrim. We get tons of new releases so hopefully this series will help you figure out hey this is worth a download or maybe hey this isn't worth a download. I'll go through the mods so hopefully you won't have to. Regardless the mod scene is definitely slowing down. We've gotten a lot of like the kind of more minute mods that are just going to get ported over so now we're waiting on some of the bigger ones that are taking a little bit more work and we're even getting some brand new releases also. It's awesome to see the way the kind of Skyrim modding scene is progressing. I think it's going in a very good direction and it's going to be one of the biggest modding scenes ever, even more so than before. With all that being said, let's just get right into it. So at first we do have Draugr Weaponry. So you remember those kind of weird skeleton guys you battle in Skyrim and just throughout the game in general? Well basically what this mod aims to do is kind of enhance the weapons they're going to be using and make them more viable and not things you're just going to be like, oh that was kind of cool the first time you played Skyrim five years ago. Now you'll actually be like, hey this is a cool weapon, maybe I'll use this with me for a little bit longer. There's two versions of this mod, one of them is going to be a flat out replacer, so it's going to basically replace all the existing versions of Draugr Weaponry in the game with the new one or there's a standalone version which is just going to add them in in addition as well as modifying some of the leveled lists so you'll probably see both of them as you fight some of these enemies. All around I think it's a pretty cool mod it definitely is an enhancement on the base game and basically what we have available in the vanilla of Skyrim. The weapons are pretty expansive ranging from some different swords, great sword shields, axes, war axes etc etc and you can definitely tell when using some of these weapons that the texture quality was taken into consideration. They're a bit higher quality than the vanilla ones which is definitely nice to see see. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple mod. It's just one of those mods that I think is worth a download, even if you just download the replacer version, because it's going to enhance your game in some way, shape, or form. So next up, we have a pretty simple, but a mod I think a lot of you are going to really like. Basically, what Unicorn SE is going to do is, well, just add a unicorn in it to Skyrim Special Edition. There's really no crazy quest or anything like that to get the unicorn. You're just going to stumble upon it in a certain location on the map. And I mean, it's just a unicorn that's invulnerable. I just think it's a kind of a funny mod, especially for some characters. I know there's a pretty popular kind of mod setup out there where people will get those angel wings and the halo mod that I did make a video on a few days ago and make them kind of like an angel or something like that. That, at least from what I've seen, seems to be a common theme throughout the Skyrim modding scene, so I think this is a good way to enhance that. Riding a unicorn definitely is a lot more interesting than just riding your normal horse, so maybe you want something to spice it up, maybe you want to feel angelic, whatever it may be, a unicorn is available for you to do so. So up next, we do have the release of one of those mods that a lot of people are going to put on their kind of essential download list, and that's going to be RS Children Overhaul. So basically, what this mod is going to do is overhaul all the children throughout the world of Skyrim. So what this mod will do is a few different things. First and foremost, it's going to create some new clothes for all the children in the game. This is going to be just reusing some of the assets in vanilla Skyrim, so you'll have more variety as you go to some of the different children in the game. Then on top of that, obviously, it's going to make their faces much more appealing. It's just going to use a lot of different custom assets, textures, head meshes, etc. to make the children just look better. Not in like a creepy sexual way, but just in an aesthetically way. I'm pretty sure this is the reason a lot of people, me included, do like this mod because you'll have a lot of mods out there that will make all the NPCs kind of look better. It'll ha just be a texture overhaul or whatever, whatever. Well, almost all of them will overlook the children because they are using different textures and assets because it's just kind of shrunk down and smaller. This is one of the few mods out there that I'll actually pay attention to the children and actually make them not look like the ugly child out when everything else in your game does look so good. On top of that, it actually changes every single face in the game, so all children will look differently, and hopefully, at least in my eyes, hopefully in your eyes as well, there'll be an enhanced version. This is one of those mods I think is just kind of like a must download just for the sense that it's going to make your game look a little bit better at no real cost to you unless you really don't like the way children look, but personally, I think it's a big improvement over Vanilla Skyrim. So not to like beat a dead horse, but I think this one's another kind of must download. I think everyone should have this mod. Unique Uniques is a very cool mod, and I think this more than any other mod for Skyrim is something that should have been in the base game. So basically what Uniques Uniques is going to do is basically make it so so all the different unique weapons you do stumble across in the game, like the Aegis Bane, Angie's Bow, the Pale Blade, Shield of Solitude, I'm just trying to remember some off the top of my head. All these are going to now have unique models and textures. Some of these will have kind of more drastic changes, while other 
other ones will just be more minute maybe just a texture overhaul other ones have total model changes so the sword itself looks very different again this is going to be for every single unique weapon in the game it's going to make these feel more special like they should unique weapons previously were pretty boring and although they did have better stats they didn't aesthetically make you feel any different they just kind of looked mostly like the other counterparts that were not as unique this is definitely going to be overhauling that and again i think it's just a must download all the textures are of the highest quality as well as the models do look very good none of them are super outlandish or crazy and none of the changes this mod makes really fell out of place at all so i think it's definitely a worth a download and again one of those ones i think everyone should just really have in their game so last but not least we have our Artoria. Artoria? Artoria? Artoria's armor. So what this is, is an armor from one of the major characters in the Dark Souls series. She is now getting this added into Skyrim. Basically, I don't really know that much about Dark Souls. I've never played that series, although I think it is a very cool and interesting looking armor to be added into the game. I think it fits into the Skyrim world very well, and all around, again, I just thought it was a cool armor. I think the texture quality could definitely use a bump, but if you do play in third person, I didn't find any issue at all. Playing in first person, it was kind of hard to look at, but just playing third person, which I definitely would recommend with an armor like this and I think you'll be a-okay. That's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this one though guys. I feel like we got a pretty good range of mods. We got some weapon mods, some overhaul mods, and actually some really good mods that I think are definitely gonna be worth a download over the long term. I do hope you've enjoyed this series as always. Skyrim is almost three weeks old now which is absolutely crazy so here's to another six weeks or seven weeks or probably 30 weeks of this series and as always I thank you guys for watching.